Hey you guys, uh, tonight I wanted to talk about the the duo, the mitochondria and the protanum duo. Uh, I know I've been talking a lot about the protanum lately. I've really been pushing that because I just, I love the protanum, but I am taking both. I do take the mitochondria as well uh, every day. Um, but I found out uh, some really cool information that I wanted to share with you last night. I was on a phone call, uh, a conference call with somebody named Dr. Gordon, and he is a retired cardiologist. Um, and he was explaining like what mitochondria does and in, um, in coinciding with the protandum, like how it, it works together and what it actually does. And I was like mind blown last night. Um, and so I kind of went through and I did a little bit of my own research because that's what you're supposed to do. You're not supposed to take things at face value. You're supposed to go and do your own research. So I did that and I got some stuff for you guys that I thought was like incredible. Uh, first of all, the mitochondria, right? That's the powerhouse of the cells. Uh, mitochondria puts out 95% of your body's energy, okay? That's something that we all have. It's innate. We are born with it. That's what we have. So the number one reason um, that, fast forward, like lots of years, okay? Um, fast forward to putting somebody in the nursing home, okay? The reason that we put somebody in assisted care or assisted living or a nursing home or hospice is because they've gotten old, right? They can't take care of themselves. They have to have somebody take care of them. And they're saying that they have decreased strength and energy and it's because of the aging. But that's just not true. That's just not true. Yes, we age. Yes, we're all going to die. None of us are gonna get out of it alive, but the decreased strength and energy and stamina, stamina is due to your mitochondria drying out. It's just not working the way that it used to. So you start losing the muscle mass and you start getting frail and you start getting weak and eventually you're just not able to take care of yourself anymore. Um, I'm not a doctor, okay? And I, I don't proclaim to cure or mitigate any disease, but I am a critical thinker and I do have common sense. And so what I'm gonna say is if, mitochondria is responsible for 95 percent of the energy that our body uses right and it's drying out would it not make sense for us to put back in what was lacking and slow down the aging process not eliminate it because that's not possible but slow it down like substantially seven percent of somebody's life is like six or seven years you know what i'm saying like maybe longer depending on how old you are you know that's why it's so important to have that i'm always talking and going on about being proactive instead of reactive about your health like this is something that is really striking a chord with me um because it's working like this stuff is working they're proving this like over and over and over again i found out too that michael j fox okay he um everybody knows who if you're an 80s kid you know who michael j fox is um he has Parkinson's disease. He's had Parkinson's disease for a very long time. And he has a foundation. His foundation donated $200 million to NERF2 research, okay? That's protanum. That's the little yellow pill. That is exactly what I'm trying to get across to you that this stuff is working. Like there is a reason that people are looking into this and it's a holistic um, approach. Like it is a natural approach. So instead of filling your body with the chemicals and filling your body with the things that they know are going to give you worse side effects than what you started out with. Yes, you're going to be fine from this one, but you're going to gain five more, you know, and you're going to get retention swelling and you're probably going to die from that anyway. <laughs> that that's oxidative stress okay so would it not make sense to you that if we had oxidative stress and taking protanum and the, the mitochondria right as a duo are going to this just by itself is going to reduce stress in 40 by 40 percent in 30 days okay so in my mind I'm thinking so if we have this oxidative stress and it lowers it by 40 percent why would it not work in lowering the oxidative stress in our bodies and slowing down our aging processes and the nerf 2 pathways being opened up where we are able to turn our, our bodies on and fight the diseases that we are 
supposedly what we are. Like if you have if you have a predisposition to cancer or if you have a predisposition to fibromyalgia or something that can be passed down, like this is something that your body can at least attempt to fight on its own. Like me, I have cancer in my family. I have cancer on both sides of my family. And so I want to be, I'm, I am, I'm like a walking candidate. I, I am like, that's just, that's is, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? So why wait until something happens? You know what I'm saying? Like, why not, if this is something that is holistic and a natural approach, rather than putting a chemical on my body and hiring my oxidative stress and inviting that stuff in to come and knock on my door, wouldn't it just make sense? Just to see, like, just to see. I know that you guys can tell, like, look at me. Look at, I am also doing the physique, um, the Life Vantage physique, and I'm doing the protein shake in the morning. I'm doing my fat burn. This comes as a kit and the ProBio and the cleanse. Um, I took measurements. I've been, this is my third week. Um, my, when I started, uh, my was 33 inches waist, 42 hip, uh, 22 thigh, and 13 inches for arms. Um, my third week, I am, my, I have a 30 inch waist. I've got a 40 inch hip. I've got, I've lost an inch of my thighs. I don't want to lift my thighs, but, and an inch in my arms. And I'm really not doing anything different other than taking the supplements and drinking a shake in the morning. Like that is the one thing that I have started doing in my daily regimen. Um, and I, I quit drinking coffee from taking the protanum. I don't feel like I need it. It's a, it, like, I just don't feel like I need it. I woke up after a couple days of taking it and was just like, I don't want to have coffee this morning. And then I didn't start drinking it. <laughs> like I just stopped. I just stopped drinking it. I don't drink pop. I don't drink any energy drinks. I feel amazing. And so this is like striking a chord, like super near and dear to my heart, because I know that if people are saying, you know, this isn't for me, I know that that somebody that you know can benefit from this somebody you know is able to look at this and be like that sounds like something that I could use that's something that I want to do I want to be around a little bit longer just for the sake of living a good quality life I don't want to be sick you know I don't want to be I don't want to have to think about having cancer and I've watched a lot of people in my family unfortunately um lose the battle and if there's something that i can do to make sure that i can stay a little bit longer to be with my family i want to do it and i know that there's other people out there that are like me that are saying the same thing i, I just believe in what i'm doing i believe in what i'm doing i believe that everybody can benefit from this um we've got to put in a little bit more effort i said the other night we have to stop counting calories and start counting chemicals if oxidative stress is bad for us we know it's bad for us and we know when we start aging that the mitochondria starts drying up and it doesn't start where it doesn't work as well as it used to if we were to put that back in it would just make sense to me that those things that we are lacking would turn back on click 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 like anybody for me that's what it was it was like one of those aha moments and I don't ever want to go back there I don't ever want to go back and just be like, well, if it happens, it happens, you know, say la vie. I don't want to be that anymore. So this is why I'm doing what I'm doing. This is what I'm doing. Key habits. Be aware of what you put in your mouth. It's going to heal you or kill you. Um, <laughs> I thought that was hilarious. Um, and so much truth into that. Um, exercise. Stay moving. Try to get 10,000 steps a day. These are his his words, right? Minerals and supplements, okay? He said, nerve one, nerve two. Deal with stress, have an outlet, and surround yourself with good, positive people that want to see you do good and help you to succeed and not watch you fail. Uh, and that's what I'm trying to do right now. So get at me. You know somebody that can benefit. 
Um, I'm looking for a team of like-minded people that have the same kind of approach as I do. And I want you on my team. I want you on my team. Like there's just, I want a dream team that I can make money with and travel and change lives one at a time. Um, it's totally possible. I, the, all the people that I surround myself right now at this point, um, have made something out of nothing. Like, and it started with a plan and then it started with it, just one action at a time, you know, and, and sometimes that starts with just trying to see, like, is this something that is going to work for me? And, but you have to take that first step. Have to, have to, there's no other way. And I am going to tell you that I'm so glad that I did, but that's all I have to say for tonight. Um, I'm going to try to put something together for Axio. Um, I've been having a lot of people asking me about the Axio and what it does and what the benefits are. Um, I also take that every day too. Um, I'm like a holistic machine. Anyway, be blessed, be a blessing. Have a good night. I'm going to go play Cowboys and Indians with Journey and, um, it's going to be awesome. And I want to do that as long as possible. So be blessed, have a blessing, and we'll talk to you later.